Hello, Reading community. We hope that you had a great week. So we'll jump right into some shout outs for this week. Our first shout out goes to five sixth grade students at Parker Middle School. And these are students who uh, earned honorable mention in the 2023 Boston Sports Museum Will McDonough Essay Writing Contest. So our recipients this year are Emily Prado, Paige Sullivan, Sadie Sweat, Abigail Fahey, and Peregrine McAfee. Congratulations to those five students for their excellent writing and for this prestigious recognition. In the written newsletter, you can see a link to the Boston Sports Museum website, which announces the winners. Our next shout out goes out to RMHS student Rose Clark. Rose Clark recently won a national gold medal for her, uh, her, for, uh, her work in photography. A little bit of context, earlier this year, the RMHS Arts Department announced that several of our students won regional awards in the Scholastic Art and Writing Awards contest. Of those students, those have, who have earned gold keys, their work was sent forward to New York City for national adjudication. And we're thrilled to share that Rose received the uh, highest honor, which is a national gold medal. So Rose will go to New York City to receive this award alongside her AP photography teacher, uh, Mrs. Kathy Daly. So congratulations to Rose on that accomplishment. Next shout out goes to all of our students who represented Reading at the 2023 Northeastern District Junior Music Festival. There were 25 students representing us, uh, all who demonstrated tremendous accomplishment in music. I uh, would like to see if you uh, want to see the specific students, uh, their names are listed in the written newsletter and also a photograph from the group. So congratulations to all of those 25 students, again, for their work with the Ju Northeastern District Junior Musical Festival and their uh, tremendous accomplishment. Uh, last shout out goes out to uh, some students involved in the 2023 Virtual Statewide Youth Art Month exhibit. So the Mass Art Association recently launched a 2023 Virtual Statewide Youth Art Month exhibit. Um, you'll see that in the written news, there's some more information about our students from Coolidge, Eaton, and Killam who are represented. Uh, the written newsletter has a link to the flyer about the exhibit and also I think the best part, a link to some of to their artwork and a spot where you can give some fan mail to our Reading artists. So I know they'd appreciate hearing from our community. So take a minute and write them a note of appreciation. So congratulations to all of our students who represented us in the virtual statewide youth art month exhibit. Shifting into some updates, our first updates around crossing guards. Uh, a couple of months back, we expressed the need for crossing guards in our community. That need continues. Uh, we are also looking for uh, right now for substitute crossing guards. So even if you're not able to commit long-term or consistently, please let us know if you may be willing to serve in that position from time to time as needed. If so, there's a link in the written newsletter for more information, including a job description, and reach out if you have any questions or potential interest. Next update is from the Reading Scholarship Fund uh, fundraisers coming up. There's two fundraisers coming up, uh, one on April 6th at Anthony's Coal Fire Pizza, and then on April 14th at the Mandarin. Uh, both money will both uh, proceeds will go to our Reading Scholarship Fund. So consider going. And when you go, there's a coupon in the written newsletter that you can use to make sure that uh, you know parts of your of your purchase go towards uh, our scholarship fund. So uh, thank you in advance for supporting our Reading Scholarship Fund. Next update is around a couple of uh, a couple of things through the arts department. First, tonight's karaoke night at RMHS, open to all eighth through twelfth graders. There's a link in the written newsletter to a flyer. And the second is a reminder of our upcoming Arts Fest, which again is an amazing event for our community. So uh, check those out in the written newsletter. Last two updates. Uh, first, and I uh, want to give the community a heads up that the United States Air Force Band will be coming uh, to perform a concert this Wednesday, March 29th at the PAC. Unfortunately, the event is sold out. We did want to make our community aware that our 2009 RMHS alum, uh, Greta Askerson, will, uh, is a member of the band and will be performing. She was recently highlighted in a Boston Globe article that we put in the written newsletter. So a huge shout out to Greta. And I also knew that many in our community would like to hear about her tremendous accomplishments and her story since graduation. So check that out. A last update comes from CPAC. You'll see in the written newsletter a bunch of information about up upcoming activities and information through CPAC, including all of the spring events, a survey to give more information and feedback on your thoughts and perspectives, an event around dis overcoming hurdles to disability inclusion, and then also a, a CPAC spring business meeting. So a lot going on in CPAC in ways that our community can get involved. As always, we hope that you have a wonderful weekend. Go Rockets.